What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I went to the dollar store in search of stuff to craft with. And my store was in the middle of restocking, so it didn't have a whole bunch. But I did see a scrunchie and some foam rollers. I want to try and use them to make some easy neck roll pillows. Remove the plastic parts from the roller. Open up the scrunchie. I removed the elastic and I was hoping I could just put the roller inside and it fits. However, my rollers are not big enough. Yeah, it's a little baggy. So I could turn this inside out and sew it to make it fit, or I can just go the easy route and open it up, take the roller, find a circle that's about the same size. That one's a little smaller, but I think it might work. Trace the circle onto paperboard, cut out two per pillow. I also found some felt. Let's cut a little circle of that. Glue it on top of the paperboard. Take the roller and cut a piece of fabric to glue around the foam. Overlapping them and gluing them down. Fold over and glue down the ends, trying to keep it nice and neat on the ends. Cover the circles with leftover fabric so it looks like a covered button. Then let's glue it onto the end. I make sure I get really good contact because I want those edges to be clean to make a no sew pillow. Make a pair, give them away as a gift, or use them to decorate your dollhouse. Let's see if we can do something with felt and pom poms and a little leftover elastic from the scrunchie. Let's take a doll, measure the felt around her head. I cut a rounded piece. I need to make sure it's long enough to fit all of her hair and there's enough space for a seam allowance. Let's open it up, place the elastic at the bottom, fold over the felt, glue or sew it down, closing the elastic on the inside. Let's fold it in half and sew along the curve. To make a little pocket to hold the doll's hair, Pull and tie the elastic so it hugs the doll's head. I flip it inside out. Hmm, I thought I was gonna be able to just glue pom-poms on it to make a wig, but I don't know. But now I'm thinking I might just use more felt. I twisted a piece and I'm gonna glue it on like that. Let's keep adding felt and I'm just kind of scrunching it up and gluing it in place, adding texture to our little hair pocket. Right now it looks like an elevated bathroom towel. Let's add a braid. I'm just braiding the felt, wrap it around and glue it on. I roll a strip of felt around the end of a paintbrush, then cut and glue them onto the wig. Wrap a strip of felt around the paintbrush. I carefully go over it with hot glue to make a curl and I glue it to the back. As I am wrapping and gluing the felt, I'm starting to think we don't need the elastic. We needed it in the beginning to help stay in place, but now I think it's gonna make it difficult to get the wig on and off. Let's see, let's take it off. Now let's try to put it back on. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Here is our little felt wig. We finished it all the way around. Lots of detail in the back. Let's use some gold ribbon, cording and pearls to decorate. We can throw in a few flowers as well. To finish our Marie Antoinette Poof Bridgerton inspired wig. As long as you bring the wig down in the back, like here we added a couple of rolls, I think you can totally skip the elastic. And I would probably use a Barbie color reveal doll with like a plastic molded head to create the wig rather than a doll with rooted hair, just in case the glue goes through. Let's see, what else did we find at the dollar store? Oh yeah, this. 
It's a giant door. It's for the holidays. This is removable. It's just attached to this little screw right here. There's a wreath on the top of the door and it's stapled in place. So that might be removable as well. This was $5 and it's nearly 20 inches tall, which means we can probably use it for our 18 inch dolls or even our smart dolls. However, it is a tiny bit short. I'm just gonna glue it onto the wall a little higher. And as a bonus, we get a reef and a sign to decorate the house. You all know that I store my doll clothes in binders, which can get a little pricey depending on how large your collection is. If you're looking to save a few bucks or make some inexpensive gifts for your dolly friends, there are binders at the Dollar Tree. This one was $1.25. I know during back to school, you can sometimes find binders for 99 cents. I also got page protectors for $1.25 and white poster board for 50 cents. These page protectors are really thin, so you've been warned. If you can, I would probably upgrade the page protectors. Oops, there we go. But if not, remember, it's a thought that counts, right? I added a few page protectors to the binder, cut the poster board to eight and a half by 11 so they can fit inside the page protectors. I was able to cut six from one poster board with a strip left over. I drew a quick hanger pattern and I'm just gonna trace it onto the leftover poster board, cut them out. I was able to make 13 hangers, place the doll clothes on the paper hangers, then apply a little putty to the back if you wanna keep it removable, or you can glue it in place if you want it to be permanent. We can also add some flat accessories to make a whole outfit. Slide it into the page protector so we can flip through the binder and decide on our doll's outfit of the day. If we have more hangers, then we can add more clothes and fill up the pages. Keep in mind, adding more clothes adds more bulk and the binder is limited on space. When I want an outfit, I just take it out and dress my doll. I like to keep everything white, but of course you can have fun with this. Scrapbook it up. You know, one of my new favorite things to do is make wooden box rooms using the wood panels from the Dollar Tree. Someone asked me if I could only have one box room, what would it be? Personally, I think I would go with like a dressing room or a closet because it's the kind of place where you can take a doll photo every day. For this project, I am using five boards. At $3 a piece, that is $15. I have three 11 by 14 boards and two 12 by 12. I take one of the 12 by 12 boards and glue an 11 by 14 board to the back. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and paint the visible parts right quick. So I'm putting brown on the floor. I'm painting the back wall teal. I thought it would be fun to go with some rich colors. I cut a few strips of wood and paint them white for baseboards. I paint the underside of one of the 12 by 12 boards white for the ceiling. On the side walls, I painted the back of the panels as well, so we can get a little architecture in our room and a little more space. On one of the walls, let's take a few scraps of wood. I cut boards that could fit between the sides at an inch and a half glue them in place, then paint to match. While everything is drying, I take the clothing rack from our Barbie style room and paint it gold. I am a firm believer in reusing old crafts. All right, now let's glue the walls together, add baseboards to make our little closet. It's pretty small, we painted it in dark colors, and when we add a ceiling, it's pretty dark. So let's add a few push lights to the ceiling to brighten things up. I place a doll inside to see if we need a little more light. Yeah, I think we could use two more. That's better. I have four lights in this space and the last two, shh, I got them at five below. 
because they have a remote. Check this out. What? What? I'm not going to glue the ceiling down, just so I have the option to remove it whenever I want. Let's take a piece of wood, paint the edges gold, add foil paper or a plastic mirror. I frame it with a few thin strips of wood to make a mirror for this space. And of course, we can move it around to whichever wall we like. Let's add a rug. We're still waiting for the clothing rack to dry. While waiting, let's cut a two and a quarter inch strip by five inches. I cut a piece of foam board the same size. I take leftover wood and I'm gonna glue it on. Touch up the paint and all the visible areas. I picked up a purple scrunchie. I made two more of our little rounded pillows and I'm using the leftover material to cover the foam. Glue the roll pillows onto the ends, then glue it onto the base to make a bench for the dressing room. Our clothing rack is just about dry, so we can add it to this space and we can move things around to get the look that we want. I'm going to add the hangers from Azusa Barbie Shopify, add a sweater or two from Fancy Doll Design. I add gold push pins to the walls. They do poke through to the other side, so I bend them over, then glue them down so I can hang my bags on the inside. I have a bag from Fancy Doll Design, Mimi's Dolls World, and a few I bought from Tiny Frock Shop. Add shoes and shopping bags to finish the scene. And now we have a dressing room for our dolls that will make the picture perfect backdrop for any look. This is a great size to fit on my shelf as a little book nook. That's also a doll diorama. And when we need more clothes, well, we've got our binders right next to it, allowing me to keep my scene neat and uncluttered and my dolls photo ready. So what was this video? I don't know. It was pretty much me just having fun making stuff with things I found at the dollar store. We can use the pillows in our home decor, the binders for a little organization, and a wooden box room to take photos in. Oh, and the wig? Um, well, that could be for a costume. Yeah, that's why I made it. Thank you for joining us while we had fun making some stuff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.